Well, here I'll, I'll present an easy proof of L'Hopital's rule, but it's restricted. It's restricted to continuous differentiable function, which means that f prime and g prime are continuous. Yeah, and I'll only do this for the case that f a equals g of a equals zero. Yeah, so that actually f and g are defined in a and they take on the limit zero. Yeah, they take the value zero. Okay, what happens? So, um, I'd like to find the limit of x going to a of fx divided by g of x, right? But now recall that f a equals g of a equals zero. So this is the same as writing fx divided by g of x as fx minus f a divided by g x minus g of a. It's just the same. It's just subtracting a zero. Now divide denominator and numerator by the same factor x minus a for x unequal to a. Well, this can be done within the limit x to a since we assume that x is not equal to a. So fx minus fa divided by x minus a. And if we do the same to the denominator, there is no problem. So g of x minus g of a divided by x minus a. And uh, if the limits of numerator and denominator exist, then we may write this as the limit of x to a, of fx minus fa divided by x minus a. Divided by the limit of x going to a for x to a of g of x minus g a divided by x minus a. Well, and these limits are kind of familiar, right? Since we now have the definition of the derivative of f in a divided by the derivative of g in a. And this one, since the derivatives are continuous functions, we know that the limit of x to a of f prime x equals f prime a. And something similar can be done with the derivative in a of g, since this one equals the limit of x to a of g prime of x. And like we did before, now we may take, the, take out the limit of x to a and we arrive at what we wanted to achieve, that this is actually the same as the limit of x to a of f prime x divided by g prime of x. So the essential step here is that we assume that continuity of f prime and g prime. So what goes on is in this picture? So we have a function f in yellow and the value in c is zero, in a is zero. And the same holds for g. Then the ratio of the fx and gx is very similar to the values according to the dotted lines, right? So these are the changes in function value along the tangent lines. Yeah, so along the tangent lines it's almost the same as the function value. So fx divided by g of x is very close to the change along the dashed yellow line, which is x minus a times the f prime of a, divided by x minus a g prime of a. And now x minus a cancels, so we achieve that this is almost equal to f prime a divided by g prime of a. So the underlying idea uh, behind the uh, L'Hopital's rule is that we linearize the functions f and g locally.